As you may recall, back in section 9, we talked about multiplying a binomial to a binomial. We'll be performing the same operations, the same steps, but now we'll be including radicals in this whole process. Recall that if you multiply, you perform FOIL first, is AC, outer, is plus AD, inner, is plus BC, and last, is BD. Always be sure your final answer is simplified. For example one, we'll go ahead and start with 3 root 7. Multiplying to root 7, we get 3 root 49, because we're multiplying 7 times 7. Three root seven times six root five is eighteen root thirty-five. Multiplying the inner negative two root five to root seven, we get negative two root thirty-five. And the last multiplication is negative 2 root 5 times 6 root 5, which is negative 12 root 25. We can now look at these to determine which like terms could be added and also to see if anything can be simplified. 35 is 3 times 7, so this cannot be simplified further under the radical. But, if you'll notice, these two are like terms, and we can add them together. And lastly, minus 12 root 25. Notice 49 is a perfect square of 7. So 3 times 7 is simplifying this radical. Another way of thinking about this is that it's l the same as 3 root 7 squared, and so the 7 comes out. 35, as we said already, is multiplication of 3 and, or sorry, 5 and 7, which are both prime numbers, so that does not simplify further. But if we look at negative 12 root 25, 25 is the same as 5 squared. So we can take the 5 out, and we end up with negative 12 times 5. When we're done with all our simplification, we get 21 plus 16 root 35 minus 60. We can simplify further because this right here and this right here are like terms because they're both just plain old numbers. When we do this, we get 39 negative 39, plus 16 root 35. And that's my final simplification of that expression. In example two, we do the same thing. Multiplying, we get 8 cubed root of 3 times 9, which is 27. outer, we get 
negative 1 times 2 cubed root of 9. Inner, we get plus 20 cubed root of 3. And lastly, we get negative 5. Now we can simplify. We can rewrite this problem or this term as 8 cubed root of 3 to the third minus 2 cubed root of 3 to the second plus 20 cubed root of 3, which is already prime, minus 5. At this point, we can factor or pull out a 3 because if we divide the exponent by the index, we end up with 1. So we can pull 1, 3 out to simplify this radical. So we get 8 times 3. Moving on to the next piece, we can't do anything to this part. We can't simplify it further. So it's just going to be remaining 2 cubed root of 9. Moving on to this, again, we can't do anything to simplify this because it's already a prime number inside the radical. Minus 5. Three times eight is twenty-four. Minus two cubed root of nine plus twenty cubed root of three minus five. Twenty-four minus five are like terms, and we get nineteen minus two cubed root of nine plus twenty cubed root of 3. And that is my final simplification for that, example 2.